The 7.2 magnitude earthquake that recently hit the Visayas once again put into limelight the Filipino Bayanihan spirit. Cebuano is where the first to extend a hand to the badly hit municipalities in the island of Bohol. The Bayanihan spirit gave birth to Bangun Sugbohol movement composed of key business organizations, civic groups, non-profit organizations and other institutions that pooled resources to raise funds and life-giving supplies for the earthquake victims. CCCI convened with other business organizations, civic groups and other institutions to form the hashtag Bangon Subohol Movement, taking its cue from the advocacy campaign started by Ireland's President Jay Allegher. The movement organized a benefit concert entitled, We Will Rise Again. As of November 4, Bangon Sugbuhol movement has raised about 2 million in cash and counting. This will pave the way for the next phase of help, the rehabilitation stage. Gawad Kalinga, known for its community building projects, assured the same overwhelming assistance to the Boholanos and this time by building 1,000 transition homes. Transition is a design where we are thinking of uh, the family can later on build on it. No? Uh, ang pinapadesign natin ngayon is waste level hollow blocks and then clad it with a makan or, or uh, something like nipa, but fortify the four posts so that later on they can actually build on hollow blocks on, on, and clad it with hollow blocks. No? But because that to me is really the long term uh, permanent. The first step is to identify the beneficiaries of these transition homes whom they described as the poorest of the poor. Next is to wait for the geohazard clearance of the identified areas from the Environment Department. The province of Bohol is until now experiencing aftershocks, but with the Bayanihan spirit, it will not be long until they will be back on their feet again. From the Philippine Information Agency for Elisa Contratista, I Sibuma.